I've always been curious about abandoned places, especially old insane asylums. There's something eerie about them that sends shivers down my spine. So when my friends and I decided to explore one of these abandoned asylums one dark and stormy night, I couldn't resist. The asylum stood on the outskirts of town, hidden away from prying eyes. We parked our car a safe distance away, our flashlights cutting through the thick darkness that surrounded us. As we approached the massive decaying building, a sense of foreboding washed over me. I led the way, pushing open the rusty, creaking doors. Inside, the air was damp and filled with an unsettling silence. Our footsteps echoed through the long, dimly lit hallways, and the faded wallpaper peeled away from the walls like old skin. The asylum had been abandoned for years, but it seemed as though the spirits of the past still lingered within its walls. We ventured deeper into the building, each room more disturbing than the last. We found old patient records strewn across the floor, telling tales of suffering and despair. As we explored further, we came across a room that sent shivers down my spine. It was a padded cell, and inside, we found disturbing scribbles on the walls. Words like help me and they're watching were written in jagged, frantic handwriting. It was as if the former occupant had been tormented by unseen forces. We continued our exploration, but the asylum seemed to be fighting back. Lights flickered, strange noises echoed through the halls, and we couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. In one room, we stumbled upon a collection of old medical equipment, including a rusty, blood-stained straitjacket. It was a chilling reminder of the horrors that had taken place here. As we reached the basement, the atmosphere grew even more oppressive. It was pitch black, and our flashlights struggled to pierce the darkness. Suddenly, we heard a low, haunting whisper that seemed to come from all around us. It said, get out, get out now. We didn't need any more encouragement. We sprinted back through the maze-like hallways, our hearts pounding in our chests. The asylum seemed determined to keep us trapped within its decaying walls, but we fought our way out. As we finally emerged into the stormy night, drenched from the rain and shaking from fear, we knew we had experienced something truly terrifying. The abandoned, insane asylum held secrets and horrors that we could never fully understand, and it was a chilling reminder that some places are best left undisturbed. That night, we all agreed never to return to that forsaken place, for we had glimpsed the darkness that dwelled within the abandoned, insane asylum, and it was a darkness we would never forget. <laughs>